Okay, today I want to talk about being prepared for when somebody in your family gets sick. The other day a friend of mine called me at about 9 o'clock at night and his daughter was having some pretty severe stomach pain. She was bloated, her stomach was really tight. And they were thinking maybe it was appendicitis. So I suggested before we go down that road, let's try a few things first. I suggested activated charcoal, but they didn't have that. Then I suggested grapeseed extract, and they didn't have that either. So I ended up at about 10 o'clock at night running these things out to them, and sure enough, she was better the next morning. So let me tell you about some things to have on hand for when somebody in your family gets sick so you're not caught off guard. First thing I just mentioned is activated charcoal. Charcoal never becomes a part of your body. It just goes in, picks up toxins, and comes out the other end. It's great for food poisoning. I've seen people jump off the couch after writhing in pain within about 30 minutes of taking charcoal. The second thing is kidney chi. Kidney chi is for anything having to do with the urinary tract. So urinary tract infections, some people get those pretty frequently, and I've seen really good results with that product. Vitamin C, of course, we all know about vitamin C, but I suggest having a natural form of C. What you can find in the grocery stores is ascorbic acid, which is a synthetic factory-made form of vitamin C. You want something that occurs naturally the way God created vitamin C. Nature C is made from acerola cherry. So I recommend having something like that. Abby's elderberry syrup. This is Kentucky grown elderberries. It's organic. Now elderberry syrup has traditionally and historically been used for things like cold and flu, sinus issues, even allergies. So something very helpful. And the best part about it is kids love it. They'll gobble this stuff down. Paramin. So think about the last couple of years, a certain dewormer was very popular, talked about in the news. Well, that's an anti-parasite. Worms are parasites. It used to be that Americans every year would take some type of an anti-parasite. Paramin is just one version of that. It goes through and helps rid your body of things that shouldn't be there. Quercetin is basically serving the same function as hydroxychloroquine. So again, a certain virus, very popular in the news over the last couple of years, almost couldn't get away from it, but people were talking about hydroxychloroquine. And even American frontline doctors talk about using quercetin if you don't have access to hydroxychloroquine. So something that you can buy in any grocery store, Solar Ray is a great brand and something that we carry here in our office. Grapeseed extract. Basically, that's a naturally occurring antibiotic. So it has traditionally and historically been used for things that you would use an antibiotic for, but it's not gonna tear up your gut the way more powerful antibiotics would do. So certainly something to try first. And then the last two things I want to mention, one is cordyceps extract and the other, other is NAC. So again, over the last couple years, people were having lung issues, difficulty breathing. So these are things that you would see in the news that were very helpful. Cordyceps is very helpful for overall immunity, uh, very good for lung function. And same thing with NAC, uh, helps increase blood oxygen and using it just on a regular basis to kind of help benefit lung function. So these are some things that you definitely want to have in your medicine cabinet to be prepared and so you're not caught off guard when somebody gets sick. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it on your social media. And for more health and wellness tips, check out our previous video by clicking here and also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that gets uploaded. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. And remember, ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls.